Hello, my beautiful earth angels. I just got done eating dinner and I just remembered that I was doing a reading when my son walked in on said something about um, a horse, a white horse is outside. So I went and did some investigating and I seen the white horse. Let me clean my screen here. I seen the white horse and it was a pony. It was the little ponies. And I love the little ponies. Little ponies are my favorite. So we're going to get back. I just had to relax in my chair for a minute because, <sighs> yeah, dinner was great. We had some um, garlic parmesan uh, chicken wings with some potatoes. And it was bomb. And then, um, yeah, so, and then I had some sauerkraut on the side. I'm trying to watch my girlyish figure. Anyways, <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and get started back on for Virgo. Okay, so let me get up out of my chair. Oh, oh. I hate this thing because her feet kick up in it. Oh, God, I'm just dropping everything. Okay. All right, back to the subject at hand. Virgo, I believe we were on Virgo. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish up Virgos. Let me get my little chair here. Ooh. Lights are flickering. Oh, that's that song. Um, the lights began to twitch. Da -da -dun, da -dun. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you guys uh, like to watch. Okay, there we go. Maybe you guys out there like to watch um, Wizard of Oz. Let me shut this fan off real quick. Hold on. Oh, other way. There we go. Okay. Or was, yeah, Wizard of Oz with Dorothy and, and the Wizard of Oz. Okay, maybe you guys just got done watching that. Okay. The line. Da -da -da. The lights began to twitch. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I was doing a reading, you know, I'm just going to start over because I'm just going to start over because I can do that. All right. Um, there was a reason Virgo too. you, you might be getting sidetracked a lot. Okay. Or there could be like a lot of things going on right now at home to where it's not bad energy. It's just, you're getting sidetracked a lot and, and you just got a lot on your plate. Okay, maybe you can also have like, um, I don't know, maybe there's, there's some like people out there that, um, are trying to like really seriously attack your, your crown chakra. Um, I'm feeling a bunch of heavy crown chakra energy attacks. Okay. Um, I don't know why, but I've been getting this really bad headache for a while. And as soon as I start getting this headache, I just say a prayer to God and I start praying and and then um like yes last night I had to take some Tylenol because my head was getting really hurt and um in Cuba because I knew this guy that um he was my uncle Cuba uncle Cuba <laughs> he um he was from Cuba and he was like a stowaway and his mother was a, a, a healer she was a Cuban medicine woman and so um do I got any sauerkraut in my teeth? Oh, yeah. Oh. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I can't stand stuff in my teeth, okay? So. And I need to go buy some. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe I just did that on camera. Anyways, I'll give a shit. Okay, I'll give a shit. Anyways, um, hmm. yeah, so there's this Cuban, right? Um, we called him Uncle Cuba. Uncle Cuba. And he said that whenever you're having um, crown chakra attacks, you take an egg and or, or when you have bad headaches too, you take an egg and you rub it on the area where the, you're, you have the headache and you go outside. Okay, you got to go outside and do this. And you rub the egg on your head counterclockwise of wherever it's hurting. And then you take the egg and you throw it over your left shoulder and you do not look back. You do not look back. You go inside your house and you shut the door and you do not look back. Okay. Um, yeah, he told me about that trick and oh my gosh, it works so good. 
Oh, it works so good. My headache usually goes away within like, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes after after doing that. So just to let you guys know out there, if you're, you're feeling some crown chakra attacks or you're getting bad headaches, um, yeah, take an egg and rub it on your head counterclockwise and then throw it over your left shoulder and walk in the house and don't look back. Yes. I love you guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish up for Virgo. This is the second half, second part. <laughs> second part for Virgo. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do some Virgo. All right, let's see what we got for Virgo. Virgo, second part. I don't even remember what the first part was about. I don't know, I, I, I remember it was pretty good though. It was gonna get, it was about to get real deep. So I don't remember, but we're just gonna carry on. Carry on the way we're son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. <laughs> All right, so we got the lover's card, bottom of the deck, first card out. All right, this looks like it's gonna be a good one. I'm liking it already. Oh, shit. <laughs> Subconscious is three of swords. Oh, shit, that's a lot of cards. But I'm gonna take them. All right, we got uh, three swords bottom of the deck, subconscious here, and then we also have oh god. Okay, this is what we got, Virgo. This is what came out. Um, we got uh, the ten of swords. We got the queen of pentacles in reverse, and we got the king of wands upright. Okay, so um, this is telling me that there is an energy of um, a queen of pentacles that is very sad over you, okay? This is also an energy of the past. And this person's a player, straight up, okay? This person's a player, 707 on the clock, because I said that. And um, they're receiving their karma right now for backstabbing you or something like that. They're also, I'm, I'm getting here to their karma is to see you rise their karma is to see you rise oh and then we got under that we got the death card for scorpio and we got the ten of pentacles yes okay this is beautiful um we also have the temperance angel underneath all of that as well and the devil in reverse so um yeah there is some energy here of a past lover queen of pentacles or this could be just a person that is in your past that um, is looking at you, the King of Pentacles, or ooh, that's relevant, could be a business entrepreneur, you could own your own business, but looking at you and just really admiring you, okay? And, and remembering all these swords that this Queen of Pentacles put in your back, okay? And their car her karma or his karma, it could be his or her, whatever, um, is to watch you rise, is to watch you rise and live your life, okay? Um, this uh, Queen of Pentacles also can be manifesting um, manifesting bad things into existence for you or could be trying to tap into your energetic field and attack your crown chakra. So remember, um, gender is not specific here, okay? We also have the Temperance Angel and we have the Devil, okay? I'm really seeing that God brought um, the angels down here and, and, st and started helping you with the situation because it's just... It's really heavy. It's really heavy and it's really dark, okay? Um, I'm not going to try to sugarcoat shit here. But uh, is also the Temperance Angels guiding you um, into another path of taking a leap of faith in a different direction and, and, and conquering this devil-like energy. Okay? Um, there's also no passion anymore for this person in your eyes, your ex. I'm really seeing, too, that you have gotten over this person. Um, that, that there's no passion there anymore. Um, and I really feel like it's because, you know, yeah, because you're, you're finally finding your happiness and your passion within yourself. Okay. And you're really focusing on self. So that's really good. Yeah. You're putting these burdens down when, um, this queen is like really trying to manifest, you know, more burdens in your life, but it's not working. So whatever is being done is being returned to the person that's trying to do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And this person could also very well be watching you, um, stalking you online here, okay? Let me show you what I got. 
and could be watching you at work. Ooh, that's creepy. That's, that's kind of creepy. Um, yeah, this person's also obsessing over you. There's a lot of obses obsession. Obsession. Okay, but there, I'm also seeing that there's a lot of um, happiness and abundance too with within a king and queen of cups dynamic. Okay, um, look it. This is what this person... Hold on, let me get my cards right. This is what this person is seeing, okay? Magician, King of Cups, here, and the Star card. So this is what they are seeing, okay? And they're watching you rise. They're watching you step into your power, into this energy. And it's very, like, it, it's, it's, you're just shining. <laughs> and your energy could be felt for, like, a long, long, long ways away, okay? And this person's toxically um, stalking you, obsessing over you, and wishing that everything would just fall apart in your life. When that energy is getting reversed back to this person, and here with the devil card and the temperance angel. Um, also, this person could be a Sagittarius. This person could be a Capricorn, I'm getting. Um, yeah, this person could also be uh, an Earth sign. Okay. This person, um, yeah, there was lots of things that were hidden from you, but the truth came to the surface here, okay, with the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords, the truth came to the surface, um, there was, the, the, your enemies were trying to add burdens to your, um, your load, but as you can see, God has got your back here with the Ten of Cups, so that didn't work, so that got returned to sender. Yeah, um, somebody was also trying to make you feel like you are left out in the cold, but God gave you strength to push through this. Okay. Also, there's some kind of news or uh, message that's coming through that is um, going to illuminate a lot of light and positivity on a subject for you. All right. Um, and also, you are learning how to... Oh, sorry. That came in reverse. You are learning how to accept um, divine blessings okay without feeling um obligated to uh like pay for it or something i don't know something like that oh look and i just put the deck we got the queen of cups i just had the king of cups and i don't remember what i just did with it but um okay where's i do this every time oh is it on the bottom of the deck hold on these cards are so slippery oh no it's not on the bottom of the deck I don't know. I just, oh, there it is. Okay. There's my king. There's my king right here. There's, there's my king. Okay. Queen of cups and king of cups we have here. Okay. Um, yeah, there's, there's some kind of very powerful, um, energetic pull, um, between a king of cups and a queen of cups. Okay. Um, yeah, there's some kind of universal, um, power that's bringing you guys together and nobody can stop this. Nobody can stop this. This is a, also a very protected union, very divinely protected union. And I'm also seeing that you guys have a lot of passion for what you guys do and in your business or your career. Okay, yeah, there's a lots of stability here as well. But like I said, somebody is trying to, there's lots of stability here, okay? We got the four of wands and the, oh, the three, sorry, I feel that it's this way. The three of wands and the four of wands. So there's lots of moving forward. Um, there's lots of energy of going with the flow. And there's also this energy of um, healing. Like um, you and this king and queen of cups. You guys intuitively can sense and feel emotional pulls. Um, and it's like um, you could feel it in the vibrational flow of energy between you guys. There's a very strong 5D connection. Um, but yeah, somebody is trying to attack that crown. Um, as you can see in this picture here, this person's holding their head like, ah, oh, you know, like, oh, my head, I got something hurts my head or somebody's trying to like psychically attack your crown to get you to, um, stop progressing, stop moving forward here. Okay. Three of, of wands, four of wands, but that's not going to work because this connection 1444 on the clock, as I said that. This is a very divine pa uh, um, path. Excuse me. I just got done eating dinner. 
this is a very divine path that God has chosen for you guys. And I'm really seeing that you guys are just going with the flow of energy. Um, I just got this little fountain and it has like smoke and the smoke just flows and it keeps flowing down into each little cup and stuff. And that's what this just reminded me of, of the fountain and how you can watch the smoke just flow. And, and there's no, you know, you can't go up, the smoke only goes down. And so it's going with the flow and there's no way that these people can knock you off this balance, this vibrational energy frequency, this balance. Um, I do see that there's like some communication that really wants to come in, um, you know, and but you have to just give it time, okay? Because everybody, everybody has their own time. All right, um, there, it's not going to move very quickly, but this is a divine connection. It's not gonna move very quickly. Matter of fact, it's gonna move very slowly, but it's very protected, that it is. And I'm also seeing that this is not a toxic relationship. This relationship's very flowy. It's very, um, it's very flowy, it's very honest, it's very noble and trustworthy and loyal. Okay, that's also what I'm seeing. Um, since there's a king and queen of cups here, I'm going to go ahead and pull um, one of these new ones that I just got. Um, I just randomly flipped to the bee. Okay, so bees could be also very significant for you. All right, or cats. Cats could also be very significant for you. Maybe you just seen a bee or a cat in the last few days. I'm just saying. Could, could be. <laughs> okay. Birds. Maybe there's something with the cardinal. Maybe that could also be um, a bird of your liking or a bird that's in your state. Okay. Turkeys, cardinals. All right. Let's see here. What do we have for the divine masculine? The king of cups. We have butterfly for the king of cups. That's on the bottom of the deck. What do we have as a flipper? Okay. That one flipped. Ooh, dragonfly. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got Butterfly and Dragonfly. Those are two uh, cards of transformation, by the way. So I could also be dealing with a very powerful Scorpio. Just saying. Okay, and oh, what did I just say? Transformation, and then look what flew out. <laughs> transformation. That's awesome. I love it when that happens. Okay, um, it says, you will be shedding the old skin and emotions and transforming them into something bigger and better change is in the wind yeah i can feel it coming in the air tonight oh lord <laughs> i love that song oh i'm channeling my nose itching i can feel it coming in the air tonight oh lord. no just kidding <laughs> all right um it says, I'm sorry, you guys, I am goofy. I can't help it. All right. Um, <laughs> into something bigger and better. Change is in the wind. And you are at the center of all of, of it all as the catalyst to smoothen the process. Make sure that your intentions are clear and that you move forward with hope. Okay, so let me read that one more time. Hold on, because I'm gonna try not to get silly, but my nose and everything's really itching on my left side. And by the way, my ear, I had to take my um my earrings out because my ear has been like itching really bad too. So maybe you guys might be feeling some uh, burning sensation or itching sensation on your ear or maybe your nose and your eye. <sighs> I just got so tired all of a sudden too. So maybe you guys need to also get some rest. And also if you're staying up late at night, you know, so forth. So yes, it says you will be shedding old skin and emotions and transforming them into something bigger and better. Change is in the wind and you are at the center of all of it all as the catalyst to smoothen the process make sure that your intentions are clear and that you move forward with hope okay so that's really good so maybe this um toxic aiden stop so maybe this toxic queen of pentacles uh, was a catalyst okay and you're being guided at this time 
to really set those healthy boundaries and blocks, okay? And and power of prayer is really strong too. And I'm really feeling like, um, you know, do some pressure points on your crown chakra too to release um, energy. And also, if you're using fluoride toothpaste or if your water isn't filterized or anything like that, you guys, please be careful of your fluoride intake because it is calcifying your penile gland. All right, my like my toothpaste, I get all fluoride free toothpaste. Um, your water has fluoride in it. The government tries to put a lot of fluoride in stuff and fluoride is very bad for us. So if you are consuming a lot of fluoride, also apple cider vinegar is really good for um, cleansing your body of that kind of stuff, okay? So then also I have butterfly here. I'm gonna read butterfly. Butterfly metamorphosis. Pay attention to the areas in your life or personality that are, or what? Personality. Life or personality that are in need of profound change or transformation. You are about to enter a phase of expansion and growth, which will be highly beneficial for your future. That's awesome. I love that. Okay. And then we have... Uh, we did dragonfly. Oh, fox. No, we didn't do dragonfly. Okay, we got to do dragonfly. Dragonfly, adaptability. Okay, adapting is what we do best. Okay, especially if you have a lot of eighth house placements or Scorpio in your chart. We know how to adapt. All right, that is like our forte. That is our, that, that's our secret weapon is knowing how to adapt and knowing how to transform and, um, it like uh, Miss Hawaii always says, it's it's morphin time, baby. It's morphin time, yeah. All right. Uh, the dragonfly is a symbol of light and change. It is reminding you to bring a bit more lightness and joy into your life in order to bring about the changes needed to reach your full potential. Approach things lightly, okay? So very lightly, approach things lightly. Be lighthearted be uplifting okay try not to go into a situation if you know that somebody's done you wrong or somebody's trying to psychically attack you i mean and i always wear my crosses like for instance this cross is right here i always put these crosses on my forehead whenever i feel like i'm like i'm being psychically attacked like i am right now <laughs> yes i feel you out there by the way okay and you ain't got nothing on me all right nothing and i also have this cross <laughs> and I have this cross okay so I'm just saying <laughs> I love my crosses okay um, yeah if you if you are also feeling psychically attacked you also um, there there's just other stones just put any stone on your head the nice coolness of the stone and then you just rub it a little bit it's it's just so soothing and it in and earth stones all stones are earth okay i don't care what stone it is from the earth and any stone that's from the earth it just soaks it in like the earth is an absorbent okay it's like it's like the best absorbent sponge ever all right so whenever you're feeling like you know there's like toxic vibes getting sent your way or in your crown chakra just know that you know you can always ground and absorb with the earth any stone it doesn't matter what it is i don't care yeah okay so the last one we have is fox uh fox opportunities opportunities i'm sorry you must be quick to move out of your comfort zone especially when the situation calls for immediate responsiveness and flexibility Open your mind to new ways of doing things. Once you do, get ready for good luck and opportunities to come your way. Absolutely, the fox, yeah. Okay, so like back in the day, for instance, um, you know, I whenever I was guided to just get up and go, I got up and went, okay? That's like how um, I just, I that's how I live my life. I don't care, that's why I got a fifth wheel, okay? That's why me and my son live in a fifth wheel because as a healer, as a person on a very divine spiritual journey, sometimes God calls us for certain missions and we don't know why we have to just pack up and go. But usually we find out like a couple of days after we had packed up and left and made that move that that place was either like there was a huge fire that busted out or, you know, um, I don't know, like 
there was a shooting or something like that or I don't know there could be any any kind of reason why you get up and go and and you don't know why but sometimes God shows you why afterwards sometimes he doesn't you just have to have faith that you know what I had to do what I had to do and I got out of there because I followed my intuition and if I wouldn't have got out of there then things would have been bad and people could have got hurt so always follow your gut instinct and your intuition okay and also um there is a very strong powerful connection between a king of cups and a queen of cups these also could be two water signs okay cancer pisces scorpio there is a very psychic connection between these two two signs and i don't know what's going on with the collective but it's like the planetary alignment is just making it enhanced so much more enhanced and and the queen of pentacles in reverse is a very toxic dark uh witch or it could be just um a very highly uh toxic energetic um manipulator okay of energy and and this person could be sending bad vibes your way could be also be wanting you to silence you okay because i just picked up my deck and i don't know why but both of my cards are this way so that means like no information is allowed to come through so maybe this person is trying to silence you maybe you have a um, spiritual job and you have a divine purpose and they're trying to sh keep oh i said they so it could be more than one um yeah they're trying to silence you they're trying to keep you um in pain and turmoil and 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 trying to bring in this tower for you but with the archangel michael card that i just pulled earlier and the the hair font card and the lover's card that was the first card out of the deck um they're trying to stop a union from coming in definitely they're trying to or stop a friendship from happening or something like that um but there is no stopping it because this this connection is way too powerful it's way too powerful and it is being felt globally okay there there is like a sense of um there is a sense of spiritual energy in the atmosphere um in the hemisphere in the in the universe right now and it is it is so magnetic and it's so powerful and are we going deep yes we are because pluto is in retrograde and so is venus so you know um yeah see the card that was flipped like this it was the full card they're not wanting you to take a leap of faith in that direction okay and then there's also something at work so they could really be watching you at work maybe you are um like a, a social media or maybe you're on a platform or you're very famous or something like that i could be talking to people that are very famous um yeah they're trying to keep you blindfolded and indecision okay but um i'm really seeing here that by the power of prayer and grounding staying grounded okay put any stone you have on your forehead on your shocker i'm also hearing sleep with any any kind of stone or bark from a tree bark from a tree is really good too for grounding and keep in keeping you safe especially if it's oak i love oak trees <laughs> and so yeah just anytime that you're feeling those psychic attacks just rub the stone on your forehead or wherever it's hurting my head has been hurting for the last two days right here right here it's been hurting so bad so and and i just keep doing that and like just by me rubbing on my head like this like right now it already went away and it, it keeps coming back it comes in waves um uh, these people are very res relentless relentless if <laughs> they're attacks okay but it's not my first rodeo i can handle this shit you know? yeah they ain't gonna get this but um let's go ahead and let's pick um because we're talking about some bad people up in our energy let's go ahead and get some bad people cards shall we this 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 gets fun okay this this had me cracking up the other night these cards right here these cards are funny yes they are oh my gosh okay here we go here we go collective i don't know what's gonna pop out because these cards they got no filter none none i gotta be careful with these ones okay okay here we go all right what do, what what kind of person are we dealing with here oh, there we go what kind of bad person are we dealing with here most likely to laugh if they saw a blind person trip who does that that is evil 
Oh my gosh. Okay, bottom of the deck. Here we go. Who will have the most divorces by the time they're 80? So this is obviously an X. Yes, this is, I, I'm really getting X vibes from this, okay? I'm getting X vibes. And then um, this one, most likely to laugh if they saw a blind person trip. That is a person that really just has no remorse for anybody that breathes air. Like, that's really toxic. The last one is right here, okay? Who would be the best stripper? Okay. So this person also probably shows off their body a lot, tries to get a lot of attention, um, likes the attention too, I'm hearing. This is a person that if for a female, they would probably wear like booty shorts or like tube tops or something like that. Or um, they just love to show off their body. Um, this could also be for a person that um, sleeps around, you know, a lot you know like the town little floozy or something and you know what you probably denied this person and this person's like <laughs> you denied me everybody wants me who doesn't want me who doesn't like this yeah that's that that's this kind of person okay or um you know like on on beauty and the beast you know jacques or what is his name oh uh, it's the guy that goes after Belle that wants Belle so bad. I forgot his name. He's like a huge lumberjack guy. Yeah, how he's all, hello, I'm blah, blah, blah. And Belle's like, I don't care about you. I don't want you shit. I want the beast. I want the real deal. I don't want you. You take your axe and go chop up some fucking wood somewhere else. Go keep somebody else warm. Yeah, mister, going to be divorced 20 times by the time you're 80. <laughs> Most likely to laugh if they saw a person trip and blind. Okay, that's just horrible. That is just so horrible. That's like watching an old lady cross the road and then you sneak up behind her and you steal her cane and she falls on her face. That's the kind of person that you're dealing with or that, that would do, do this. And then we also have, oh God. Is this person bad? Yes, they are. Because on the bottom of the deck, it says most likely to join a cult. Okay, so that goes to show you that, yes, there is some um, powerful black magic witch bitch bullshit going on where somebody's trying to tap into your crown chakra to get you and your divine masculine, your king and queen of cups, to not come into union. But it's not going to work. I'm sorry. It's not going to work. Okay, I want to try this, you guys, because I just got this coin that says yes or no on it. Okay, so go ahead and think in your mind of an, a question, a yes or no question, and I'm about to give you an answer. All right, one, two, three, think of your question. Oh, the answer is yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that is your answer. And then now I have this bowl of a bunch of keys and trinkets in there. So we're gonna go ahead and mix those up. And whatever I intuitively get from the key I pick. Okay, it's this one. Intuitively get from the key I pick. And then I'm going to do a message key too. So here's your key. Okay. I'm intuitively getting from this key that this is a, a, a very ancient uh, connection. Maybe in a past life there was some kind of European descent in there. Um... It could be like a uh, descent of, of European. Um, I'm hearing Ireland as well. Um, there could be a, a family coat of arms with this key. Um, also, there's there's a sense of, of royalty. There's a sense of um, you know even if even if your family or your bloodline's not royal, there's a sense of in the court. So you hold a very uh, court-like ship. So you, your family wasn't like maybe royalty or anything, but they were of high standard in, in the past life. Okay, and then here, where's my little things? Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna get one of these little cards. There's these little cards right here. They're on the bottom, so I gotta fill them. Oh, I'm being divinely guided to this key too. Ooh. Oh, that looks like 
I'm, I've got to go with what I'm seeing. Handcuff. Okay, so maybe there was an, a, a situation where maybe you might have gotten pulled over or something like that, and your ancestors came through with a get out of free jail card. That's what I just got from that. Okay. Now I want to pull a card because I got tarot card trinkets and I'm being pulled to two of them. Okay, two of them. Here we go. Oh, this is beautiful. I got, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. The lover's card. Okay, we got the lover's here. And then we also have the world card. So we got the lovers and we got the world card. That's beautiful. Um, this connection between you guys is very, zoom back in there. This connection between you guys is very divine. It is very divine. Yes, it is. And then I just randomly was pulled to this key as well. This is, uh, to me, had a, like a little butterfly on it, transformation. So this is another confirmation that there is a transformation, okay? Um, if you guys um, do get pulled over, I'm really seeing that you guys need to pray while you're being pulled over. And um, hopefully you're not breaking the law on purpose or anything like that. But, um, wait a minute. Most likely to secretly run a meth lab. Oh gosh, who are you dealing with out there? I, I just accidentally knocked this card over. So maybe this person in your past also did drugs, I'm hearing. Okay, this person, this queen of pentacles in reverse, or maybe there's some people that are uh, right along with her um, that does drugs or meth or something like that. But yes, this key right here, I'm really seeing some... Um, some very powerful divine doors are also being opened. So don't, don't stress about the doors that are closing in your life because I was just divinely guided to pull three keys for you guys. Okay. So one is a get out of jail free card. One is a key of ancestral royalty going back from European or, um, I'm feeling Ireland and, and like, um, Greenland for some reason, like, uh, Nordic Viking descents or, um, yeah, just Celtic, real, real strong Celtic energy. And then we also have the lover's card and the world card charm. So the lover's card and the world card is you guys are very, very divine. If not twin flame, I, I have to say it. If not twin flame, definitely soulmate. Okay. And this is a connection that God's bringing together on this earth to, to heal the earth. I really feel like you guys are here as divine earth angels that you are. Yes, you are. And um, I had to put my little light in there. <laughs> it looks like a halo. <laughs> okay, so you guys are very divine earth angels. Okay, and, um, and Satan and his minions do not want the earth angels to come together. They don't. Okay, um, so yeah, there's going to be lots of crown. Uh, the more you ascend, the higher you ascend the more crown chakra attacks there's going to be. But I'm, I'm really sensing that you guys have such a powerful, powerful energetic um, uh, connection that it could be felt all around the world. Okay. And, and you know, um, nothing could stop this. Absolutely nothing could stop this. The only way that this could be stopped is if you yourself get in your own way or you basically give up. So don't give up. Stay strong, you guys. Stay positive. And like I said, you could pick any stone and you could just rub it on your head and get, get grounded. Or you could do this with bark, but I really don't recommend bark because, you know, splinters and stuff. So yeah, just do this and just really get that, that energy going of, of good healing and grounding. It helps really with your chakras and Oh, I love it. Okay. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for all my beautiful subscribers so far. I really love you guys. And this was number two, part two to Virgo reading. God bless. I'll be back on for Libra and Scorpio. I love you. Bye. Peace.